Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Neural DSP's latest amp sim, which is the Soldano SLO 100. The SLO 100 came out in the late 1980s, and it really was one of the first super high gain amps that a lot of amps have been based on since. But not only did it have amazing high gain sounds, players such as Eric Clapton and Mark Knopfler also used Soldano, so you could be sure of its fantastic clean sounds as well. So let's get to it. Okay, so let's start from the default patch. As usual with these Neural DSP plugins, we've got our effects pedals, our guitar pedals before the amplifier. We've got the amplifier there. Now, obviously, as it's a Soldano plugin, there's only going to be one amplifier. Although, if we click here, we can change all the different colors. Now, funny enough, a long time ago, I used to have this exact model. So I sort of know this amp a little bit. Next, as with all the Neural DSP plugins, we get an EQ. Then we get our speaker modeling where we can move the microphones, we can change all the microphones. And last of all, we get our post effects like delays and reverbs. So let me just go back to default as I've adjusted that slightly. And let's have a listen to that. So that sounds pretty good. It sounds Soldano-ish. But let's bring in some effects. Let's bring in some delay. And let's bring in some reverb as well, but let's bring the tone back a bit. And the mix. When I had a Soldano, I used to find it quite bottom heavy and it was quite hard to control. So you always had to put something before it, a bit like you do with a rectifier. You always had to put a, like a tube screamer type of pedal to just control the bass. Now with this, now to me, that's not as bottom heavy as over thick as I think my original one was. But again, that might be because of the speaker cabinet that I paired it with. But let's go into the effects anyway, and let's have a look at this Overdrive 1. Now, I haven't looked to see what all of these are modeled on, but I'm guessing that Overdrive 1 is gonna be like a Tube Screamer. So let's do the Tube Screamer trick. Let's turn the tone up and bring the drive back. Let's see how that sounds. <laughs> let's take it out. So that does a good job at controlling the bottom end. I think let's just bring that back a little bit. And we've got a compressor. I love using the compressor. I pretty much have one on all the time. Sounds like this. And we've also got Overdrive 2. Now this has an EQ curve on it where we can have it flat or we can use a high shelf. So that's gonna be boosting the top end frequencies. So here's with the pedal off. And here's with it on. Again, let's bring back the drive so we're not actually adding any drive to the preamp. And let's make the tone flat. <laughs> So that's actually quite nice and it's given it some clarity. Let's go back to the amplifier and I'm gonna try and tweak it to my taste. So I'm gonna bring the overdrive back and let's just make the EQ flat at the moment. Now this is the drive channel here and let's hear that. <laughs> As 
as you can see here, we've got two different drive circuits. We've got a preamp drive circuit and we've got the master drive circuit. So they both sound very different. Let's hear the, the preamp overdrive. Let's turn that up. And now let's hear the master. So this drive circuit gives it a sort of throaty sound and this does sound like we're driving the preamp a little bit harder. This amp has two different channels. So we've listened to the overdrive channel. Let's switch it to the normal channel. Now the normal channel has two different modes. We've got crunch and clean. So crunch sounds like this. And if I switch it down to clean, Now, if we go back to the effects, I left out the chorus earlier because we were using a drive sound. Now, if I bring in this chorus. almost has like a rotary sort of speaker sound about it. Bring up the depth and the rate a bit. And if I bring back the rate, That is actually quite nice, but the only thing that I'd really like about this is the choice to have it either pre the amp or post the amp. So either going into the amp as it is here or to have it with these effects as well. So we could have like a lush stereo chorus to add to these effects. I really hope you guys got something out of that. If you did get something out of it, perhaps you consider liking and subscribing and clicking on the bell button and then you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul and I'll see you next time. Cheers.